Hello, in this demonstration we're going to take a look at a commonly asked question and that is how to upgrade or install the SOLIDWORKS Workgroup PDM server. In this demo we will assume that you're either upgrading an existing version of the PDM Works Workgroup server or you're installing fresh on a new server. If you are upgrading it's not necessary to uninstall the old version. The only prerequisite that I would recommend is that you back up your vault data directory and that is typically stored at c colon vault data. Just simply back up that directory and that is an operation that you'll want to do when there are no users logged into the system. Now once you've made your backup you're ready to begin the new installation or the upgrade installation of the PDM Works workgroup server. I've got my software in a download stored on a network share directory. However, you can access it from the DVD as well. From my network share, I look at the top level directories and find the PDMW server directory. And this is exactly the same as you would see if you're browsing the DVD. In the PDMW server directory, find the setup.exe and launch it. This will begin the installation for the workgroup server component. And it's a very straightforward installation. We'll just follow through with the prompts. SOLIDWORKS is installing any prerequisites that may be necessary. And we'll choose Next. Accept the license agreement, Next. For our installation, for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just assuming a very straightforward, out-of-the-box type of installation, where our vault is on the same server as our PDM Works server software. So the default location is C colon vault data. Now you can change that if you like, but I'm just going to accept the defaults. It is possible to store the vault data directory on a, a different drive or even a different computer than the default, but that's beyond the scope of this demonstration. One other thing I will mention is that there is an additional software component that can be purchased for Workgroup PDM, and it's called the SOLIDWORKS Workgroup PDM Viewer, or was previously called the Web Portal. It is an additional purchase. Now if you do purchase that item, you'll need to turn on the option to install the Workgroup PDM Viewer, and it will require a separate license string, so you'll want to check this option. For most folks, you'll leave this option unchecked, and you'll just proceed as normal. We click to begin the installation, which will just take a minute or two. Once the installation is finished, the last screen we're presented with is to uh, enable the performance logging, and I would recommend turning this option on. 